the charts and reports give you some outputs now. So we've done our data entry of the basics, we've done our analysis, we've browsed around and got the feeling for things, and then we need some stuff to put in our theses, our academic papers and so on. Um, one of the nice features is just to have a chart. So um, here's a, you can always resize these things, of course. So here's a chart that shows you um, all our categories. They're sorted now into frequency of occurrence. And I guess the um, business one, this is the uh, Anderson and Van Katraman paper. This is the Chenwich and Cheryl Brown paper, um, although it's all a little bit contrived just for the purposes of demonstration here. Um, so in a real case, you could get uh, many, many more categories and many, many more sources. Um, the uh, tables can be produced, the uh, uh, layouts. These are um, pivot tables and pivot charts, of course, so you can play with these to your heart's content if you know your way around access. Um, the need for stuff on paper is minimal in my view. I think one of the very first things I ever produced here was the printout of um, all of the chunks with their denotata um, organized into the uh, category groups. So, I mean, sure, <laughs> if you want to print out 273 pieces of paper with all the words on that you've seen before, uh, please feel free to do so. Um, some of us love to work off ink and paper. Um, if you want to be a little bit more cautious, you can just pick one of the interviews and print that out as a, a selected interview with the bits and pieces that come from that interview. Um, one of the features is that uh, you can select chunks and then send them to the clipboard. So let's uh, have a little look now. So here's a chunk, let's select it. Um, here's another one, let's select it. We're doing some really clever work here and we're convinced that these are the most important chunks in our uh, armory. Let's now go back to where we were. We're going to export all the selected quotes to the clipboard. They're done. If we bring up uh, something like Notepad, then the chunks are provided for us. And you see the uh, joy here is that the text is given. And uh, at the end we add the uh, attribution in terms of the author and the publication, the volume, and then da 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 da. So that's all as may be. And it will help you. And clearly, if you're doing thematic development, you're going over your 52 interviews and developing themes of this, that, and the other, then the selection process allows you to pick out the 15 or 16 examples that make your argument, and then you paste them into the skeleton chapter 5 of your thesis, and then flow the text around them. Uh, now we can come back and get that any time we want. That was simple, guys. Uh, that was charts and reports. I would just add that with the um, access facilities, um, you can do a lot of stuff on your own. Um, I do suggest you don't mess with the structure of the tables, but there's uh, masses of queries and things supporting what you're doing here. Um, there's dozens of forms supporting what you're doing here. And so do poke around, have a look, make a copy make a copy before you go and uh, fool around. Right, we'll come back and look at the pay, pay, excuse me, the pairs analysis and reporting presently.